Hello everyone, welcome back and you are watching DMG Chemistry Classes and in today's video I am going to discuss thermochemistry and I am also going to explain heat of reaction at constant volume and pressure. So friends in my very first video I told you that many physical processes and chemical reactions are accompanied by the evolution or absorption of heat and the branch of chemistry which deals with the heat changes that is heat evolved or absorbed during chemical reactions is called as thermochemistry. I also told you that the reaction which proceeds with the evolution of heat are called as exothermic reactions and in these reactions heat is given out from the system to the surroundings and here the heat is given negative sign whereas the reaction which involves absorption of heat are called as endothermic reactions and in these reactions heat is absorbed by the system from the surroundings or we can say that heat is transferred from surrounding to the system and here the heat absorbed is given positive sign okay further the heat changes or the heat evolved or absorbed during any chemical reaction depends upon the conditions under which that reaction is being performed that is whether that reaction is being carried out at constant pressure or at constant volume. So here let us discuss the heat of reaction at constant volume. So according to first law of thermodynamics delta U is equal to Q plus W and we all are familiar with these terms now and if the work W is the work of expansion then W will be equal to minus P delta V negative sign is there because work is done by the system. So this equation number one will become delta U is equal to Q minus P delta V and from this equation we have Q is equal to delta U plus P delta V and let this is equation number two. And if the reaction is carried out at constant volume then there will be no change in volume and delta V will be equal to zero and when delta V is equal to zero then work done is equal to zero so this term P delta V will be equal to zero and we have this QV is equal to delta U so I have replaced Q by QV because the reaction is being carried out at constant volume so QV is equal to delta U okay this means that heat change or the heat evolved or absorbed during chemical reaction which is being carried out at constant volume will be equal to the change in internal energy understood and if ur is the internal energy of the reactants and this up is the internal energy of the products then what is delta u delta u will be up minus ur that is internal energy of the products minus internal energy of the reactants then we can write that QV is equal to delta U and delta U is equal to UP minus UR. Understood? And I have also told you that for exothermic reaction, this QV, that is heat change, is equal is, is negative. Understood? And this means that in this case, UP will be less than UR. Only then QP will, QV will be negative. And for endothermic reaction, QV is positive okay this means that up up is greater than ur understood so the heat change at constant volume is equal to the change in internal energy so now let us discuss that heat of the reaction at constant pressure so heat of the reaction heat of the reaction at constant pressure okay and we know that enthalpy we know that enthalpy H is equal to U plus PV okay and let this is equation number four and change in enthalpy will be equal to change in enthalpy will be equal to 
delta h is equal to delta u plus delta pv okay and this equation will be further written as delta h is equal to delta u plus p delta v that is first function into change in second function plus second function into change in first function that is here p delta v plus v delta p and if the reaction is carried out at constant pressure and if the reaction occurs at constant pressure then delta p is equal to 0 there will be no change in pressure then this equation let this equation number 5 then this equation number 5 will become delta p is, is equal to 0 then v delta p is equal to 0 then delta h is equal to delta u plus p delta v and this is equation number 6 from this equation delta u will be equal to delta h minus p delta v and this is equation number 7 now we will substitute the value of delta u from equation number 7 into equation number 2 okay then this equation number 2 will become now I will write QP in place of Q because now the reaction is being performed at constant pressure so QP will be equal to here in place of delta U I will write delta H minus P delta V plus P delta V plus P delta V and here P delta V, P delta V cancel each other and QP is equal to delta H. Okay. And this is equation number 8. What does it mean? It means that heat change or the heat evolved or absorbed in a reaction which is carried out at constant pressure is equal to the change in enthalpy. That is change in enthalpy. And again here if HP is the HP is equal to the enthalpy of products and HR is equal to the enthalpy of reactants then this delta H is equal to enthalpy of products minus enthalpy of reactants okay and QP will be equal to delta H is equal to HP minus HR okay so the heat evolved or absorbed during a chemical reaction at constant pressure is equal to the change in enthalpy understood further in many reactions which involves solids liquids or in solutions the delta H is equal to delta U whereas the reactions which involves gases delta H is different from delta U okay let us explain it so let us consider a reaction which is being carried out at constant temperature and constant pressure so here we have a reaction that is a reactants are converted into products and this reaction is being carried out at constant temperature and pressure okay and let n1 are the number of moles of reactants and v1 is the volume and n2 are the number of moles of products and v2 is the volume of the products and reactant and the products they are gaseous reactant products are gaseous so according to ideal gas equation so according to 
ideal gas equation PV is equal to nRT so, so we can write that is P into V1 will be equal to N1 into RT because pressure and temperature are held constant and PV2 will be equal to N2 into RT understood and let this is equation number 9 and this is equation number 10 and I will subtract equation number 9 from equation number 10 then we will be having P into V2 minus V1 equal to N2 minus N1 into RT okay and P V2 minus V1 delta V so P delta V will be equal to n2 minus n1 delta n that is change in number of moles that's delta ng g mean to say reactants and products are gaseous delta ng into rt so this is equation number 11 okay so we will substitute the value of this p delta v in the equation of enthalpy change so we know that delta H is equal to delta U plus P delta V okay and P delta V is equal to delta NG RT so let us substitute it in this equation and delta H will be equal to delta U plus delta NG into RT and let this is equation number 12 this is equation number 12 and as I told you that what is delta H? Delta H is the heat evolved or absorbed at constant pressure. So I can write here QP. And what is delta U? Delta U is the heat evolved or absorbed at constant volume. Then it will put QV plus delta NGRT. Okay. And this is equation number 13. Now from these three equations we will know about the conditions under which delta H will be equal to delta U. Okay, so conditions conditions under which delta H will be equal to delta U. So first condition is the reactions the reactions in which in which there are no gaseous components no gaseous components and when for example this NaOH aqueous plus NaOH sorry SCL aqueous giving us NaCl aqueous plus water liquid okay in this reaction the reactants are and products they are not gaseous okay so in this react in this uh, in this type of reactions delta Ng will be equal to zero because there are no gaseous reactants or products so delta Ng will be equal to zero and when delta Ng is equal to zero then this term will be equal to zero so when delta Ng is equal to zero then we have delta H is equal to delta U okay so this is the first condition second condition is when the reaction when the reaction is carried out carried out in closed container in closed container and when the reaction is carried out in closed containers then there will be no change in volume and when there is no change in volume delta V will be equal to zero and according to this equation when delta V is equal to zero P delta V is equal to zero and we have 
delta h is equal to delta u. So this was the second condition. And third condition is that reactants and products are gaseous but what the number of moles number of gaseous moles of reactants are equal to number of gaseous moles of products okay in this case also delta ng will be equal to zero for example we have this reaction that is 2 h i giving us h2 plus i2 Okay, in this reaction, the reactants are also present in gaseous state, products are also present in the gaseous states. What number of moles of the products and reactants are equal? Here, number of gaseous moles of reactants that is N1 okay n1 is equal to 2 and number of gaseous moles of products that is n2 again 2 that is 1 plus 1 equal to so what is delta ng delta ng is equal to n2 minus n1 equal to minus 2 equal to 0 and when, as I said earlier, when delta ng is equal to 0, delta h is equal to delta u plus delta ng rt. And when this delta ng is equal to 0, then this term is equal to 0 and delta h is equal to delta u. Okay. So these were the various conditions under which delta h is equal to delta u. Okay. So these were... Uh, this is all about the thermochemistry and the heat of reaction at constant volume and constant pressure. So I hope that you have understood and if you have enjoyed today's video and yes, you have, if you have enjoyed today's video, then please uh, subscribe my channel and also like and share my videos. And if you have any question regarding this video or uh, my previous videos, then you can leave your questions in comment box and I will definitely answer your questions. So thank you for watching. Thank you very much.